This video shows how to build a battery for the Sharp CE150. After nearly 40 years, the original battery has lost most of its capacity. In order to build a new rechargeable battery you need the following, 5 nickel cadmium or nickel metal hybrid cells of 1.2 volts each, heat shrinking tube 40 mm, tape, thin metal strips 2 to 3 mm, heat shrinking and soldering equipment. First open the CE150 by removing the screws on the back. There are 8 screws in total to be removed. Remove the printer cover and the paper roll. Now slightly remove the CE150 top cover by pushing back the clamps that are on the inside. Start with the clamp that is located under the paper roll. Use a thin blade or anything similar to click the remaining clamps open. Once the cover has been removed there is access to the old battery. Remove the two screws of the battery holder and take out the battery. Cut the two wires on the battery side and make sure to leave them as long as possible in order to reuse them for the new battery. Now cut the heat shrink tube to the correct length of three battery cells. Tape the cells together in serial order. Make a string of 3 and 1 of 2.
Make sure that the cells are pushed firmly together so they make a good contact. Tape the two strings together and make sure that they are leveled in one end. Now insert the batteries into the heat shrink tube. Cut the heat shrink tube to fit with the battery pack. Tape the loose end together. Use a hot air gun to shrink the tube or put the whole pack for about 1 minute in a preheated oven at approximate 200 degrees Celsius. Make sure that the pack was shrink tight so the batteries cannot move inside the tube. Now you still have to connect the two battery strings together. To do this, you have to solder a metal strip to the battery poles at the bottom. Make sure it is in serial, meaning plus connects to minus. Solder two angled metal strips to the remaining plus and minus poles of the battery pack. Now check the voltage of the battery pack. It should be close to 6.5 volt. It is a good advice to label the battery pack with its voltage and capacity and for which device it is intended to be used.
the poles should be marked with the polarity in order to avoid possible damage caused by incorrect connection. Finally solder the wires from the CE150 to the battery pins. The red wire is plus and the black wire is minus. As an additional safety measure, insulate exposed areas on the circuit board that could accidentally come into contact with the new battery. Put the battery pack in the battery slot. Since the new pack is a tiny bit thicker than the original, it holds firm and the battery holders are not required anymore. Reconnect the grounding wire and the printer interface cable. And last, but not least, screw the PC-150 case back together.